I can just imagine what the trolls are going to do if I get this car Monday. I've never said I was going to sell my truck. I've never said that. See, this is how lies get started. The only thing that happened is I contacted a loan officer to see what kind of loans they were willing to give me if they were going to give me a loan at all. And the reason for it was that my truck's been having a lot of mechanical issues lately, and it's 17 years old. So I thought maybe I should go get a $10,000 car, right? that I could daily drive and just keep my truck to do truck things like pull my trailer, help people move. I would get it through a loan to help reestablish credit because right now I'm underestablished. I mean like this is normal everyday people life and people act like I'm a bad person for it. Please help me, please help me out. How do you bounce back from bad credit? Yeah, I have bad credit, that's a fact. Yeah, the only problem, the only credit cards I could possibly get are like those fucking bad credit credit cards that are like 20%, 26% APR. I'd be adding like 25% on every purchase. I might have to do that. Any credit cards you suggest, Yellow Submarine? I'm just bitter about my credit because like I didn't even mess my credit up. My brother did. How much cash do I have right now? That's none of your business. My streams have been getting really low numbers lately. Oh, look here, listen. Thank you for the three dollars, bud. Exotic Pepsi, this is not a fucking- I'm never in my life pre-recorded a stream. And I'm gonna start banning people who say that shit. It's a fucking annoying. I can just imagine what the trolls are gonna do if I get this car Monday. Uh, 2014 Mustang. Red with a black racing stripe. It's a V6. V6 cloth seats. No, it's not a GT. It's it's it, it's it's a salvage title. So it's really fucking cheap. But like I'm not afraid of a salvage title. I'm gonna probably eat those words. Yeah, it's got bucket seats in it. What's the brake cars for one of those, Jardy? Um, for the V6 Mustang, 305. That's why I'm not too worried about getting the V6, cause like my truck has 285 horsepower, and it weighs like 2,500 pounds more. So like this is gonna feel like a, a race car to me. Uh, it means it's been, it, it's, it's, I said salvage, but it's a rebuilt title. It means it's been certified by the state to be roadworthy. So it is back to factory specs, but the fact is since it's a rebuilt title, it's not worth a whole lot of money and you never can sell it for a whole lot of money. But I don't plan on selling it. I plan on driving it and, until it falls apart like my truck. People, people act like I'm the biggest motherfucker on the planet, dude. <laughs> Can you fit in a Mustang? Well, Brandy doesn't have my new phone number, so like you're barking up the wrong tree. This is the car I'm hoping to get right here. Oh man, that's sick. Coupe is a joke. Yeah, it's a coupe. Oh. Nothing is the same as a big V8 when you smell of that gas. It just does is a different experience. It, it, it's not as cool as a big V8 Mustang, which I don't have a big V8 Mustang because that's a V6, but regardless, it's doing what I need it to do, which is look cool and get good gas mileage. I'm be a pussy magnet. Yeah. Because bitches don't give a fuck if you got a V8 or V6. Well, shit, I'm, I'm assembled in Tijuana, Mexico, so me and the Mustang has something in common. Dude, I can't afford a Hellcat. I can't afford a Mustang. Do I know the history? Yes, I do. I got pictures of it when it's wrecked. Because that's one of the first questions I asked. Like, how how does a how does a car that that would should be fourteen or fifteen thousand dollars end up at this price? I can't do carbonation, uh, Bernie Gers. Why do you even care, Sam Richard Jordan Steen? I'm not afraid of a salvage title. I'm gonna probably eat those words. <laughs>